which are abused for the support of the oppression and persecutions if men be not governed by the fear of God. And we got that going on right now. We got too many elected officials that do not care about God. They got man-made rules and they are getting rich on the backs of the poor. Ain't God all right. But by the fear of God and the use of vanity, vanity, God reminds them that they will be called one day to give an account for what we do in the flesh, whether it be good or bad. When I look at this first verse, look at it with me. To everything, to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. When I think about a season, I think about the days. I think about the seconds. I think about the minutes. I think about the hours. I think about the days. I think about the weeks. And I discover that the day will give place to the night and the night again to the day. Oh yes, it's summer now. But after a while, season will change to winter. Then after winter, if we stay a while, the season will turn back to summer. Every purpose has it's time. When you were a child, you should obey and honor your mother and father. Because the time comes when you will be a father or a mother. The clearest sky, just like a day like today, will soon be cloudy. Then the cloudy sky will come. And then the sky will clear up again. To everything, there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. When I look at the second verse, it says a time to be born and a time to die. Now, let me stop here and put a pen here. Birth and death are determined by God himself. By the divine counsel of God. Some have said it's a point in time to be born, time to die, but no time to live. Once we come on the face of the earth, we're on our way out. If the Lord let us live to see tomorrow, we'll be closer than we are today. There is a time for God to bless all of us. Bible says that the world was so wicked that the Lord decided that he repented and decided that he would destroy found grace in the sight of God. Noah started building on ark for 120 years. It is strange that Jesus says it was in the days of Noah. So shall it be when the Son of Man returns. Preacher, what was happening in Noah's day? I'm glad, glad you asked. In Noah's day, men were wicked. And the Bible says in the sixth chapter of Genesis that man loved darkness rather than light. We love darkness right now. But our deeds that are done in the dark will certainly come to the light. Well, unless I hold you <clears throat> too long, just want you to know that as I close, the Lord can use. Touch your neighbor and say, the Lord can use even you. 
Thank God. All right. The Lord could use Noah. After the flood, Noah got drunk. Thank God. All right. I said, the Lord can use anybody. Let me call the role of folk that God used in the Bible. Ain't God all right? The Lord used Abraham, and Abraham was 100 years old. Ain't God all right? God allowed Sarah, who was 90 years old, to carry a baby for nine long months. Ain't God all right? Jacob was a liar, but God uses him to be the father of the 12 tribes of Israel. Ain't God all right? If the Lord is all right, you ought to tell him thank you. Ain't God good? And he's able to pick you up when you're down. He's able to turn you all around. Ain't God all right? God used Joseph, uh, who was an abused child, uh, by ten of his brothers. Uh, but God uses him uh, to be the second in command. Uh, down in Egypt, ain't God all right? God uses Moses, uh, who had a problem with speaking, uh, to lead the people out of Egypt on their way uh, to the promised land. Uh, ain't God all right? God uses Gideon, uh, who was a coward. Uh, and uses 300 people uh, to defeat 185,000. Uh, ain't God all right? Uh, God uses Samson, uh, who had long hair and was a womanizer. Uh, ain't God all right? Uh, God uses Rahab, uh, who was a prostitute. Uh, but God used her in his business. Uh, Ain't God all right? God uses David, who had an affair with another man's wife and then had the man killed. But I hear David saying, renewing me a clean heart. We need a clean heart if we're going to do the work of God. Ain't God all right? God uses Elijah who wanted to kill himself. Uh, God uses Isaiah, who preached buck naked. Uh, ain't God all right? Uh, God uses Jonah, uh, who ran from God. Uh, Naomi was a widower. Uh, Job went bankrupt. Uh, John the Baptist ate bugs. Uh, Peter denied Christ. Uh, and Judas betrayed Christ. Uh, Thomas doubted Christ. Uh, the disciples fell asleep while praying. Uh, Martha worried about everything. Uh, and the Samaritan woman was divorced uh, more than one time. Uh, Zacchaeus was a small man. Uh, and Lazarus was dead. Uh, but I heard, uh, I said I heard Jesus say, Lazarus, uh, come forth. And Lazarus got out the grave, and the Lord said, Loose him and let him go. Ain't God all right? I come to tell you it's time to get right with God. It's time to do the right thing. It's time to ask somebody to forgive you. It's time to keep your hand in God's hand. Uh, ain't God all right? Uh, let me close here. One Friday, he died. Help me say died. Uh, but that's not the end of the story. When somebody dies, 
You ought to bury them. Uh, ain't God all right? Uh, they took him down uh, and put him in Joseph's brand new tomb. Uh, ain't God all right? Uh, he stayed in the tomb uh, Friday and all night Friday. He stayed in the tomb Saturday and all night Saturday. But early, help me say early, help me say early, early Sunday morning, shook down a nice shroud, all power, help me say all power, all power, say yeah, say yeah, say yeah, he's all right, I tell you he's all right. He woke all of us up this morning and started us on our way. We ought to tell him thank you. If the Lord been good to you, why don't you clap your hand? Ain't God all right? If the Lord been good, why don't you stomp your feet? Say yeah. Why don't you lift your hands and shout glory, shout glory, shout glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Make time, make time, make time, make time, make time for God. If you have got time for everything else, and you haven't got time to give God some time, you are busier than God ever wanted you to be. God himself rested on the seventh day. He hallowed that day and set it apart for rest. Sometimes the most spiritual thing you can do is rest. Replenish yourself. Start over again. Lucky, would you sing a song?